It is a 2020 Z H2. It is, of course, the naked version of the H2, which most people don't like. I don't know. I kind of like these naked bikes and their goofy transformer looking front ends. I'll do a proper video. I got the tail, tail tidy thing in today. And I'm waiting on the exhaust. Look at that thing, man. Oh, my God. At least it's not like my ZX-14 where you had two of them big bastards. But yeah, I'll do another video, a better video, whenever I get the tail. Oh, and the mirrors. Yeah, so I got exhaust. I got the tail teddy today. Or fender eliminator kit, whatever you want to call it. And bar end mirrors. Because I, I don't like these mirrors. And we will get get on with why here in just a second. That's pretty cool. All right. So before my GoPro decides to murder the battery, let's get on with this. Yeah, it's like 94 degrees, so it's not too bad out. <laughs> it is not too bad because it's not 97 or 107. If you're new to my channel, this is not a professional review of this bike. This is just my bike and what I can think to say about it. If you want a professional review of this bike, go check out Laura Moto or Lamb Chops Ride. Rides. Right? Rides? Lamb Chops Rides. They got, they got a proper professional video on this. This is just goofy old Dave talking about his dad new motorcycle. Sorry! Okay. I see that's the difference between me and big YouTubers is they can talk about what they're going to talk about. Anyways, let, let's just start off with seating position. Seating position? Oh man, it is, it is very, very nice. I love the seating position on this bike. It's not aggressive at all. It's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> It's exactly what I was looking for in, in a motorcycle. Um, with the ZX-14, the seating position, it was really sporty. And it said, come take me and abuse me. Or this one, I can set my cruise control. Yeah, I can set my cruise control and just roll. And the seat, the seat is hard. Now, it has broken in. It, it's not, it's not as hard as say, oh, the second time that I rode it, where I absolutely still did not like it. Didn't wasn't a hate thing, but I just did not like it at all. I like the mirrors. You can see a lot. I hate where they're at. That's that's probably the one thing I besides freaking exhaust. I hate the mirrors. I hate the mirror position. Um, the same thing went with my V-Ride, except for the V-Ride, you had less of a space, less of a gap in here. So I'm going to put some bar in mirrors, and chances are they're probably going to be useless. They'll only to pass inspection. I don't have to worry about what gear I'm in to pass somebody. Hey guys, and, and check that out. 75 miles an hour. 32 miles per gallon. I would get that doing 110 on the ZX-14. This bike is thirsty. Now I've heard, and I've got it on road mode. I've got it on road mode, so I don't know if it's going to get any better. Uh, who knows? Maybe I could put it on um, low power mode and see what it does. Unlike, unlike the ZX-14, this bike goes in the corners so easily. Uh, the first, I mean, I've been I've been overshooting overshooting corners, which means overshooting, going off into the other lane. Not, I mean, not going off, but I would have to straighten up. It'll it'll dive into these corners, and you, no effort, no effort. The ZX14, it's kind of like I had to had to somewhat give it some inputs. So yeah, the, the cornering, the flickability, the maneuverability of this bike is insane compared to the ZX-14. 
let me just say this word of caution on this bike if you are thinking of getting this bike or I would assume most any naked bike that does not have a steering damper which I sure hope someone designs one for this thing real quick when this thing comes up uh-uh no sir and whenever it lands it wobbles I mean maybe it's just me and I haven't got used to it but it comes up in first and then it hits and then if it does straighten out and you hit the hit the quick shifter and you're still on it, the tire comes up again in second and third and that's in traction control one and it doesn't come up far it doesn't come up far at all it comes up maybe a foot but yeah let me just demonstrate I'm doing 73 miles an hour I'm just barely leaning my body yeah. I dropped down to 71. Effortless. Effortless steering. It's a 45 mile an hour turn. I'm not too sure how the rocks are on it. Let's just keep it around here. 65. See? I'm starting to overshoot it. Alright. There we go. Yeah. That's that's how this is. I mean, it's almost like you've got a MotoGP it. Just drop into the turns if you really want to nail a hard turn. Otherwise, there's no sense in putting a knee out, getting way over. I mean, unless you're just on a track, really. But for the way that I ride, I honestly won't have to ride this like I rode my ZX-14. I can enjoy some of this dadgum scenery that we don't have here in Texas. Let me just demonstrate a little bit. Even though I'm in road mode, it should still come up. Just not as not as high. I'm, watch my wrist. It barely moves. Yeah, barely hit the throttle. This thing, and it's in road mode, so I don't know what the power percentage is in road mode. And that, that's another thing. The throttle is, it's not as bad in road, but whenever you're in full, full power, it's choppy. It's, it's almost on off, it really is. said this suspension was plush which is pretty much racing type of guys I'm so glad that I did not get a sport bike an actual sport bike because if this is plush no I no this is this is actually hard I don't know if it's because of the seat but the suspension seems fairly rigid say I don't know if it's like that because I'm 230 pounds or what Typically, the heavier you are, it should be softer, right? No. No. <laughs> Thank you. 
and the wind, the wind coming over the fairings is not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Word of warning, it is very wobbly whenever you pop a wheelie. Actually, as soon as as soon as the front end leaves the ground, you can feel it. And it, it this could be me. I mean just a new bike. Wow, did you see that dude's mustache? Yeah, it could be me. But as soon as the front end leaves leaves the ground, it's almost like instantaneous upset. Let's put it in sport mode since we're close to the house. Did you notice the third gear wheelie there? And I hope I caught my hand movement on my throttle. Man, the GoPro is shit when it comes to real life. So if you happen to see that third gear wheelie versus the throttle position on my hand, I was not giving it any, hardly any throttle. <laughs> I'm gonna set my cruise control so I can talk. Let's set it at 60. It's an awesome bike. I don't like the tires. They're not as sticky as what I'm used to. Continental Road Attack 2s or Continental Sport Attack 2 Evo. Seating position is great. It dives into corners phenomenally. Now I'm comparing this to a ZX-14. Throttle is a little bit choppy. So you better be in the right gear going around corners or you better be used to that very minute throttle input. This is not a beginner bike at all. I don't care about the power modes. Not a beginner bike. Not a beginner bike. Period. I don't care. I'm not I'm not one to say what bike is for who, but when it comes to this bike, it's really not even for me because I'm a child. I mean look at me. I'm riding down a country road with no hands so yeah that's that's my thing it, it, it's just massive amounts of power this is awesome all right guys and girls of course hopefully I made a little bit of sense in this video and like I said I am NOT a professional if you want professional quality go check out Laura Motos or yeah Go check out Laura Moto, her video on the ZH2, or go check out Lamb Chops, Lamb Chops Rides, their videos on the ZH2. Thank you for tuning in. Finally got my bike. <laughs>